Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Prophetess Nikki with another video for you today. I want to thank all of my sons and daughters for your support and what God is truly doing through our channel here. I am so grateful and I am so honored to God to have all of your support. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your donations. Thank you for liking and sharing these videos. Thank you for taking the time and leaving positive words of inspiration to help somebody else through their journey. God God bless you. If you tune in to our channel and you are not subscribed, hit that red button to become part of our family here. And don't forget to tap the notification bell. I pray that God's face will always shine upon each and every one of you. May God continue to bless you and prosper you in every area of your life. People are seeking revenge because you have cut them completely out of your life. Listen, sons and daughters, there are people who have left your life and there are people right now who are leaving your life, who are silently, who are secretly seeking revenge because you have cut these people completely out of your life. These people are trying to punish you for being strong. They are trying to be vindictive against you because you have stepped into your own power. Glory to God. But I want you to know today that God will repay all of these proud and hard people and avenge his elect. God will always avenge his own children. The Holy Spirit did a 380 on all of these egotistical enemies of yours. God has blindsided them when you cut them completely out of your life. They didn't even see it coming, sons and daughters. You have done the complete opposite of what your enemies did not expect for you to do. You have disarmed your enemies by refusing to engage in their drama. You have disarmed these narcissistic people by completely cutting them out of your life. And you are getting ready to see by cutting them off was the best thing that you could ever do for you, for your people in your life, and for your own peace of mind, for your own sanity. Glory be to God. Now you are going to see your life begin to prosper and God is going to allow the fruit of your labor to flow into your life like never before. God showed these people how powerful he is by moving right in the midst of all of your battles. People confuse your lawyer to listen beautiful people. People confuse your loyalty and people have confused your kindness for weakness. They did it to take advantage of you because they could not relate to what was real. You are too real for fake people. Glory be to God. So they mishandled you and now that you are gone they want revenge because God Almighty has given you a way of escape. Yes, your God has gone before you and made a way of escape for you. God has strategically placed your enemies in your life just like he did Goliath in David's life. Glory be to God. Yes, God, God, nobody but God. God strategically placed your enemies in your life like he put Goliath in David's path not to defeat you but to prepare a table for you in the presence of the people that opposed you. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God did this for you, sons and daughters. These people dared you to succeed. Your enemies were created for you and for your purpose. So thank God right now for your enemies and praise God for the doors that he did not allow you to go in because it has saved you from heartache, from pain, from trials and tribulations. Glory be to God. If you, sons and daughters, wouldn't have encountered the giants in your life. You will not be where you are today. When your enemies came against you like a flood, God raised a standard against them. So bless the Lord at all times and in all things. No weapon, I don't care what it is, no weapon that is formed against you will ever be able to prosper. Not today, not tomorrow, not next week. I don't, have, I don't care how close it gets. The weapon may form, but it will never 
will ever prosper. Glory be to God. I know you thought it was going to take you out. I know you thought it was going to destroy you, but it didn't destroy you. It couldn't destroy you. It made you stronger. You have stepped up and you have stepped right over your enemies in their face and you have taken back everything that the devil has stole from you. Glory be to God. Be warned tonight. People are seeking revenge against you because you have stepped in your own power. You have cut these people completely out of your life. Congratulations for getting the courage and obeying the power of the Holy Spirit for severing the ties of these narcissistic people. Now your life will flow freely and your life will flow effortlessly. Glory be to God. And when the blessings flow, don't you dare go back and pick up your enemies and sit these people at your table. Glory be to God. Let them sit. Glory be to God in their own karma. Glory to God. God bless you tonight. I am praying for each and every one of you. I am laboring. I am touching and agreeing with you. Every person that is under the sound of my voice tonight, God is getting ready to do something great in your life. You maintain your faith. You walk by faith and not by sight, not by what it looks like. I can feel it down in my spirit. Don't you doubt God. Don't look at the circumstances. You remember the power and the might of the almighty God. Continue to share these videos. Continue to like these videos so that it can help empower somebody else on their own journey because whatever you make happen for somebody else sons and daughters God is going to make happen for you there is no if ands or buts about it when you get down in your spirit when you get low in your spirit and you think about all the good that you have done and it seems like it's not gonna come back to you the devil is a liar you are on the brink of your breakthrough right there you have made things happen for other people and now you are on the receiving end. God is going to give you more than you can ever imagine. And when he give it to you, I want you to testify it through this channel. No doubts and have no fear. Have no doubt and have no fear. God bless you.